So, here we are looking at a pair of British Army issue uh, Persian Gulf War era desert boots. Now, Persian Gulf War came as a bit of a surprise uh, in terms of, well, preparedness regarding kit and equipment. Uh, the British Army hadn't developed a new combat desert uniform for British troops uh, since the 1950 pattern khaki drill trousers and khaki airtex bush jacket. Um, a desert DPM material had been produced in the very late 80s, around 89, uh, and you do find they made a version of the green lightweight trousers in the desert DPM material for use, presumably as a barrack dress or for, you know, military observers going out to the Gulf uh, and desert regions. But combat uniform was lacking, and the troops were sent out initially with Boots Combat High, which are the first generation of uh, high combat boots replacing the ankle height DMS boots. These were found to be, according to accounts, these were found to be unsuitable for desert environment without the sand in, and the troops suffered badly with blisters and so on. So the immediate response was that troops sent requests home asking relatives to buy and send out desert boots. And you do see various different types of desert boots being worn, including American issue examples and all, man all manner of private purchase suede uh, boots. Now these, the issue response was these. Uh, so, so these were rushed into production. They're based very closely on the British jungle DMS boot, which is different from the canvas and rubber example used in the 60s and 70s that I've shown previously. Well, used in the, the 50s, 60s and 70s that I've shown previously. These are based on the DMS jungle boot, which I will do another video on. As you can see here, the sole is the standard sort of DMS tread pattern that you find on the uh, DMS ankle boots, but made in this sort of, I guess, mustardy brown uh, rubber. The uppers are made of suede leather with the canvas here and with a leather similar to the American jungle boot, which is what the British jungle boots were based on. And then the American the American desert boots based on the jungle boots. So they look quite similar with this uh, leather reinforcement piece across the canvas here at the ankle. The main difference with the jungle boot, other than the construction of not having black pebble grain leather and green canvas, is that you don't have the eyelets, I think actually on the in the insole here, you don't have the drainage eyelets, obviously operating, operating in a desert environment. You don't want sand getting in through eyelets and there's no need for drainage in theory. Um, the, desert, uh, the jungle boots, uh, the British jungle boots, like the American ones, had two little mesh eyelets, and I'll show you that when I do a video on those. There are reports of them actually having been issued for use in the desert and they glue up, you use um, uh, copy decks or something like that to glue up the, the vent holes so that sand didn't get in. Not sure whether that's true or not, just something I've read. Now, these are, it's debated how good these were. The this, this tongue is stitched right to the top. Um, some people say they were quite good, they didn't let too much sand in, they were quite comfortable. Other people maligned them heavily. Obviously, I have not, and I'm never going to wear them in a desert environment, so will not be able to make any judgment on that myself. They're just an interesting bit of kit. They were rushed out into production. I say the, uh, I believe, 1991 was when you first started seeing these in the field, so obviously moving on from uh, Desert Shield to Desert Storm, or Operation Granby, as the British, uh, as it was known to the British. Um, I There are accounts of men being issued these literally just as they were about to get on the plane and go back home. So you do see Boots Combat High being worn right to the end and obviously myriad uh, different versions of private purchase. But these are the issue uh, boots that were used during the first Gulf and then they were improved and adapted and obviously the, uh, they developed into newer designs of issue desert boot that we use later on um, in uh, Iraqi Free the Iraq War, the Operation Iraqi Freedom. Uh, I believe it was called, but that was the name, wasn't it? Anyway, um, so there we are, the, uh, the British Army uh, desert boot as uh, issued in the Persian Gulf War. So I hope you found that interesting. Uh, until next time, bye for now.